What's up bros and welcome. Now today I'm going to be showing 10 more custom Lego Ninjago weapons that I've made. Now first up I'm going to be showing some weapons that I've made for Wildfire because some of you bros wanted to see me make some custom weapons for her in the last video. So yeah, let's get down to business. Now for Wildfire's first weapon we have an axe. So first we're going to take this dragon hilt piece, we're going to attach this golden piece, and then we're going to take this golden clip piece and attach that right there. Then for the last piece, we're going to take this monkey kid axe piece, and then we have the completed axe, and um, yeah, I think an axe would really fit Wildfire's violent fiery personality, so yeah, that's basically it for this first weapon. Now for Wildfire's second accessory, we have what I like to call the Elemental Club. So first, we're going to take this Transclear Red piece, we're going to take this Transclear Blue Chi piece from Chima, attach those together, then we're going to take this Golden Stud with a hole in it and attach it to the bottom, and then for the last piece, we're going to take this Golden Bar piece, insert it, and then we have the completed elemental club. Now, this thing is a club that channels elemental energy in order to boost the powers of the club. Now, since this weapon belongs to Wildfire, the club is glowing red and blue because, well, Wildfire's heat abilities are red and blue when she uses them, so it would make sense that the club glows in these colors because Wildfire is using it but yeah it's a bit of a dumb idea but that's basically it now for wildfire's third and last weapon first we're going to take this dragon hilt piece then we're going to attach this golden upper piece then we're going to take this red piece and attach it to the top and then for the last piece we're going to take this golden blade piece and then we have the completed dragon blade. Now, this thing is a pretty simple weapon. It is kind of gimmicky though, because this blade has the ability to, you guessed it, turn into a scythe. But yeah, that's basically it for Wildfire's third and last weapon in today's video. Next up, we have two weapons for Lord Raz. So let's get down to business. First, we're gonna take this black bar piece then we're gonna take this black piece and attach that right there we're gonna take this black clip piece and attach that right there then we're gonna take this black piece and attach it onto the top then for the rest of the hammer build we're gonna take this black bar piece and slide that in then we're gonna take these black studs with holes in them and attach two on each side meaning we're going to be attaching four in total to the top of the build then we're going to take these black cheese wedge pieces and attach one on each side then we have the completed hammer for lord Roz. now this thing is pretty long as you can see here but it does fit lord Roz and this thing can also swing around for some reason. Let me give like a brief demonstration. So like this top piece means the thing is a bit unstable, meaning this hammer can like swing around for some reason. I don't know. It's a dumb little gimmick, but I do think it looks pretty neat. Now for Lord Roz's second and last weapon in today's video, we have another hammer. So first, we're going to take this black bar piece, we're going to take this black lightsaber hilt piece, then we're going to take this dark gray clip piece and attach that right there. Then we're going to take another black lightsaber hilt piece and attach that right there. Then we're going to take two of these pieces and attach one on each side. And then we have the completed hammer build. Now, this thing is not only a hammer but it can turn into cannon mode where this thing can shoot out energy beams now i know that does seem kind of dumb but i think it fits lord Roz, and 
but right here we can show him shooting the thing and then it has hammer mode where he can smash his opponents to pieces but yeah that's basically it for Lord Roz. Alright next up we have two custom weapons that I've made for Sora because in the last video some of you bros wanted me to make some custom weapons for Sora as well so I got you man. First we're gonna take this golden bar piece then we're gonna take this prime empire controller piece and attach it right there then we're going to take this golden stud with a hole in it and attach it there. Then we're going to take this white piece with two holes and then we're going to take this black barrel piece and attach one on each side and then we have the completed staff blaster or blaster staff. It's a very weird and wonky looking weapon but the idea is it's basically a staff that has two barrels on the end so Sora can shoot out energy blasts at her enemies. So for instance, I can take two of these orange blast pieces to show that Sora is currently using the blaster staff to shoot energy beams at her enemies. But yeah, that's basically it for this weird looking weapon. Now for Sora's second and last weapon, we have what I like to call the Psy Baton. So first we're going to take this white piece and then we're going to take two golden studs with holes in them and attach them right there. And then we're going to take this Psy piece and then we have the completed Psy Baton. This thing is basically a combination of a Psy and a Baton. So right here it's being used as a Psy. But then if we put it right there in that position now it's like a baton or something but yeah that's basically it for Sora's weapons. Next up we have three custom weapons that I've made for Eren because some of you requested that as well. So let's get down to business. First we're gonna build a grappling hook gauntlet for Eren. First we're gonna take this dark silver gauntlet piece. Then we're going to take this yellow stud with a hole in it and attach that right there and then for the last piece we're going to take this grappling hook piece, pop that in and then we have the completed grappling hook gauntlet for Aaron. So basically instead of Aaron using a grappling hook gun, this time he has a gauntlet that can shoot out a grappling hook. So basically a bit of an alternative weapon for him to use. Now for Eren's second weapon, first we're going to take this dark grey piece and we're going to attach this trans clear orange stud with a hole in it on right there and then we're going to take this Imperium blade piece, pop that in right there and then we have the completed upgraded Imperium blade. So basically the idea for this is what if Eren stole one of the Imperium Blades and decided to modify it so he can use it in combat. This thing is just an upgraded Imperium Blade so it is a bit lazy but I thought it would be a really cool weapon for Eren to use if I modified it a little bit because well the Imperium Blade is orange and orange is part of Eren's color scheme so it's still a very cool looking weapon. Now for Eren's third and the last weapon, we're going to take this golden lightsaber hilt piece. We're going to attach this golden bar. Then we're going to take this yellow clip piece and attach that right there. Then we're going to take this golden piece and attach that right there. Then we're going to take two of these yellow studs with holes in them and attach one on each side and then we're going to take this orange Nexonite spear piece and attach one on each side like that. And then we have the completed weapon. Now there are a few things to explain when it comes to this weapon. So first of all, the top spins. Now why does the top spin? Well that's because Eren can use his spin jitsu weird abilities to channel Spinjitsu into the weapon to make this piece 
spin like it's doing spin jitsu and that way this weapon can spin and it can basically be useful in combat and useful to block energy blasts from enemies or just like enemy gunfire and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a very weird weapon but it's definitely kind of cool. But anyway, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these 10 custom LEGO Ninjago weapons that I've made. Now, tell me in the comments below what Ninjago character you would want me to make more custom weapons for. And I'm also going to be making 10 more custom weapons for Sora and 10 more custom weapons for Lord Ross. So expect those videos coming soon. But anyway, feel free to check out my other videos. I mostly make custom minifigures and sometimes custom weapons. Have a great day. Godspeed, bros.